Good afternoon and welcome back. Uh, today I want to do a very short video to talk about one of my absolute favorite time-saving uh, features and tricks in Digital Performer, and that is how to set up your own uh, personal preferences for CC automation and how to quickly utilize that in the MIDI editor. So to show this, I've got a very simple uh, one MIDI track uh, session here, and um, we're going to go into the preferences window and we're going to make sure maybe somewhere else we're going to click on continuous data and notice here you've got seven uh, basically lanes uh, and this is what it looks like by default but um, not uh, not as much common knowledge what you can do is make this uh, your own and however you want it um, I'm gonna show you how I have it set up uh, I wanted to be able to work with I wanted this to reflect the things that I do most often and so that is I control CC1 uh, for modulation CC7 for volume uh, and then I found myself when I was working with a lot of synths and production sounds um, working quite a bit with attack release uh, low cutoff uh, high cutoff and uh, reverb and so I've set up my uh, window like this accordingly. So um, I'm going to use uh, these CCs, um, and I'll explain why in just a moment. Um, now I picked 13, 14, 15, 16, and 90 um, just because I felt like they were out of the way and wouldn't interfere with uh, some of my other libraries and my other CC information. Um, and I've labeled them as such, uh, and you'll see why in a minute when we get into the MIDI editor. Um, but what's really cool is we now kind of have our own personal preferences for which CCs we're going to use most often and how to very quickly utilize that in the MIDI editor. So now that we've set that up this way, um, let's close this window, and we're going to go into our MIDI editor here. And now watch what happens when I hit the numeric keys one through seven on my keyboard. Take a very careful look down here. So one will automatically make sure I'm viewing modulation, two volume, three attack, four release, five low cutoff, six high cutoff, seven everb. So uh, this is a super useful and fast way because you know you don't want to have to continually be clicking here. Um, or adjusting, you know, Cubase, to its credit, gives you all these different lanes that you can customize, um, which is really useful. Uh, but I've actually found that I, in a lot of circumstances, I like this because it gives me more vertical real estate and I can very quickly switch between which lanes I'm viewing. Um, and I can write automation in any given lane by simply hitting the number uh, and adjusting. So if I want to write modulation automation, I just hit one and I can, I can write it out. If I want to write volume automation, hit two. Now I want to switch to my uh, low cutoff, I hit five. And my reverb, I hit uh, seven. And, uh, and I can view all these things superimposed, or I have a, a very nifty uh, key command set up, uh, which for me is Shift W, so I can keep it all in my left hand. And that triggers the show only active uh, uh, information. And so I can quickly switch back and forth between showing active, in which case the numbers switch. Um, or I can show them all superimposed. So it's a really fast way of uh, working in MIDI editor and customizing which CCs you're using most often. Um, and and uh, I can't tell you how much my workflow sped up once I realized that you could uh, customize that in preferences and, and then fly through the MIDI editor as you choose which CCs you want to edit. So I hope that's helpful. Um, as always, I look forward to your feedback. And uh, if you have any questions or future videos you want to see, uh, drop me a line. Thanks so much.